Welcome back to Captain of Industry. My name is Nilas, and we are back here with the second episode. Thank you very much for your support on the first episode. And as usual, um, if you want to follow, keep up with this, then uh, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. I am gauging very much on uh, the activity or the sort of the feedback uh, when deciding on where to what to build and how to build or what to what to play right here on the channel. So what are we going to do today? Well, the first thing is we're going to be averting disaster. We have 88 uh, diesel left and we have no way to get more except for building actually the diesel uh, power plant here. So that's why I immediately started this up because, oh boy, are we in trouble if this doesn't get done. Uh, we might even get so far as to say, some. oh yeah, well, that doesn't matter. Some of these will, okay, this one got built and we can sort of force the, the small things in here. This one in here, uh, that one can also force in. Uh, this can be forced in and then I really want to focus on this and this and uh, yeah don't even need the rest but uh, this should be so we'll just start pumping in some oil getting in here uh, this one needs 50 and they are gonna work here how are we doing they are lacking some bricks so we continue on our bricks exchange there we go, that's a lot of bricks. I'm also gonna make some concrete because we're gonna need those for sort of painting some awesome roads and stuff like that. And then we're out of wood again. Now, that was kind of the, this is the kind of the most important thing. What should we do in the meantime? We can start setting up the coal build and then we need to set up some copper build as well. And those will be the main part and also start moving our iron up here as well. So it gets a little bit closer to the iron mine. We're going to start here with this with a mind control tower or a mine or mind, mind, mine, whatever. Control tower. Uh, let's make you here, which is unfortunately right next to the road, but maybe that's actually okay. And then the edit area. Let's do this area. That's actually fine. We'll go for a giant area here and we'll just mark all of this as all the flat area. This one. Just get that. That should get you going. Uh, this is lower priority. I will also build uh, an excavator and two more of these, which won't really be done. And why are we not getting it done? Well, we're not getting it done because we don't have a way to make vehicle parts. So let's make this one as vehicle parts there, which will again use some electronics, which is a little bit in short supply and uh, parts. This one is fully saturated and we really should actually have for all of these things just a little box next to it like this that will be exactly the same place and how far from the edge will it be okay so it kind of has to be like this and this and then take that out and you will then be mechanical parts i won't have the same thing for actually you can also just see that it'll be there so this will be electronics and vehicle parts no thank you definitely don't want to have uh, hundreds of vehicle parts but the rest sure maybe i don't know i don't really feel confident about it but this thing is most important let's get that done and then this will be the let's get that one and okay so now we should be making some oil here let's get that a little bit up in priority so we hopefully get some coal Oh yeah, cool. Hmm. There's a definitely a problem in terms of sort of sequencing because we have we have a shortage of everything. What about construction parts? How are they doing? They're not doing. They are and they are. What are we waiting for? It's still the bricks. How are the bricks not working? Did we not get bricks? Oh, we already used all the bricks. Damn. But what about this part here? This one should be getting inbound and it's actually still the bricks that are shortage. Why are we not getting the bricks? And uh, that is because this one is simply too efficient. It's simply too efficient. And uh, I have, I want to just get all of this now. There, just get all of it. And now I have deselected the where, it where it wants to go. So now it'll be not focusing on the iron because we kind of have a big stockpile of it and instead focusing on what is closest to this location, which means it's going to go out and go back and scoop up some dirt. Dirt go into bricks, bricks go into construction parts, construction parts go into, well, all the mess that we have over here that we really need to get going. Oh, this one's missing one, literally one, literally nothing. Now, I guess this one will be next because it, 
I'm gonna be allowing this to uh, actually take that out. There. And I don't know if these can be picked up. They are an auto, and as long as that one is here, then they won't be picked up. So I need to get this one going. And we got construction, and then we work on towards belts. As much as we'd like the belts to be there, then that's not really gonna happen. This one I'd also like to prioritize, but I can't prioritize it until we get the oil going. And oil needs this one, because until we get this done, and I'm going to go over here again. Uh, this one's working. This one's not working. Why are you not working? Is that still... Yeah, it's, it's still that thing. And they're still expensive up here. So we're not going to take that. And we do have a lot of wood here. So we'll we'll spend some money, even though it's uh, still the most, uh, most expensive part. They will be able to get here. Yes. So they can go sneak in there. All of this is also getting done. And we will see that this is running out. It'll start filling up on the wastewater. And once the wastewater fills up, then, well, there's just nothing we can do about it. Okay, so it's a little bit of a dicey situation because we're almost out of oil and we might actually completely run out of oil. Uh, could I just allow you to be here? So I allow now by clicking auto, that means a, they will not allow trucks to come in and pick up because there is already a pipe outbound. But if I allow them to come in anyway, it also starts up working because it'll build up bigger stockpiles and then it'll also be allowed to them to uh, to come in here and pick up from this location or right, we're 16 and then comes in the 20 so it's just two at a time it goes way too slow all right let's see if we can get all of this done in uh, in without the, the panic so just just managing this one a little bit until we can get it to get some oil going some diesel going before we run completely out there we go. It's a little bit of a hacked way because now they're driving from this location, picking up the wastewater and bringing it into the the liquid dump here. Uh, but whatever, it works. If And we get 20 construction parts, which is absolutely what we need. There we go. Get the construction parts. Now this whole line here is working great. Whew. Okay, so that was good. That was one thing we wanted. And I want this to be the next priority. And why do we want that to be the priority? Well, because this will make us vehicle parts and we need vehicle parts. If we don't have vehicle parts, we're not gonna make more vehicles. If we don't have vehicles, we're gonna make more coal and so on and so forth. And that means that we are, well, we're just not getting, I'm getting a little bit more people in here. Disable truck input for the diesel storage. Ah, right, that one, truck import, there. That's really good. So that means trucks will not come in here and bring diesel into this one. They'll only be coming here and picking it up. Pretty clever. Uh, that's how this works, on off means that they can go in and they can go out. Uh, the auto here is, I can now set it to auto as well. Uh, the auto means that anything that is already handled by pipes or belts will not be uh, set up here. Oh, we got some new ones. And it's actually both for the diesel, the scrap, the rubber, the, all these things that I want them, not just because I want extra people. I actually don't want more people, <laughs> but uh, yeah okay so this is working out well hmm, it'll work soon enough i guess it'll be building some vehicle parts once you get some materials inbound which it should be getting soon this one will be filling up that's great and uh what is it no oh, there's a little bit of uh, issue here so it's not actually flowing let's make sure that it gets flowing there we go now it is flowing yes there we go it's flowing and we also obviously <clears throat> that little one is kind of important. There we go. And this I'd like to get, but I don't have to get it. As long as I have some kind of oil production, I'm good. This one gets built. Then we need to figure out this must be the next next thing that gets priority. And we got the vehicle parts. Now we got vehicle parts constructed. Great. So now we have copper production and ship repair. We need going to need to send out the ship because that's also vastly profitable to uh, send out the ship. And um, I think I also want to get another one of these here. Just they don't super doing super much, but I need two of those for uh, for repairs or for just construction. So we have a little bit more repair or build here. We have a little bit of build here and you are slowly building that, which gives us more uh, vehicle parts here. So we get this constructor, the truck constructed, and then we'll get a uh, what's it called? E excavator, which we'll use for coal. And then we'll, after that, get another excavator and two more, which we'll use for copper. So, you know, there's a long way and that's why we need to start the vehicle parts production up and running. And what is this? Oh, there was just bringing some oil in here. Oh, actually, these ones should be built up uh, now, moved into next to this. 
and more things to be built. Okay, haha, <laughs> that's not good. I definitely need to set this to be allowed to export. Because you see, as soon as I build it, it would default to setting the previous one to off because it would now feed into the next one. But since the next one doesn't really exist yet, it's not ready. Uh, let's get some power production. We only have these very modest diesel generators. So let's do that here, here, and here, and here. And some transport. There, and there. So this one will also be built eventually. Funny how that one... Oh, right, it's the uh, electronics that they get that gets built first. Uh, we have 444. Really shouldn't be building all of these. Well, it doesn't matter. I can unbuild them if I really, really need to. I can also just delete this part here. Let's delete that so we free up some more materials. There we go, free them up. Uh, we do lose, lose some because uh, there's not a 100% yield when getting it here. That gets in. Unfortunately, we don't have all of those available just yet. Right, so let's uh, wait a little bit until things get a little more stable and then we can start working on this location. All right, it's time to get this uh, coal plant under control. We're gonna be building, sending one here and two more of these. Now, we will also be picking up a lot of uh, gravel and, no, not gravel, but stone and, and dirt here. So we need, again, a sorting plant. We can combine the sorting plants. That is, uh, I'm aware of this, but I think I actually, from a general perspective, wants to have all of these sorting plants separated. And that is dirt and it is rock. And then I need to decide where I want it. A is uh, the one furthest away. I want this to be in D. And uh, then I want this to be in A. There. So that means now I can do that storage and that storage. Yes. And I'm going to be setting it to on. That's very important. Uh, there's no compatible for mixed cargo. Really? Who? But you, that's sorry. Oh, well, there, it, there is, but there isn't because this one's not built yet. But it, it's going to get built. Don't worry. And they are dirt and halfway. Good. Yes. And now we need this being built. Let's uh, prioritize you. And we are diligently working. Well, we're not. We are out of, kind of out of iron here. Uh, let's see, why are we out of iron? Well, because... Mm. Because what? Because... This... Is not getting enough coal. So the whole thing is kind of coal based. And... Uh, yeah, we need this. Okay, so this is again one of the things that happens so often in this game. Is that you kind of get stuck in a... In a catch 22 so let's let's walk through it this one needs construction parts all right construction parts are kind of out because they're out of coal or because they're out of iron why are they out of iron well iron production is needing coal and that means we need the coal to come in to build iron to build construction parts to build the solder so we can actually get coal going yeah that sucks <laughs> but uh, what we can do is we can keep feeding it with more of this Actually, that's a little bit strange why we're not getting it. Oh, right, because it still needs coal inbound. Okay, so uh, we need uh, this thing here uh, working. Let's uh, crank it up a little bit more so that we get as much coal as possible. Then we want to have this as a little bit higher priority to where the coal should go in. Also, that's a high priority. But um, yeah, we can see that they, the coal goes in here because I set this one to high priority because we needed the diesel going. But this one will be stuck soon enough. Right, so we're gonna get a little bit of coal coming from this one, and that will need to go into the iron parts, so the iron keeps working, and uh, once that happens, then we get the construction parts going again. The sorting plant is finally coming alive. As soon as it does that, then let's see. We need something that has the capability to sort all of these uh, ingredients. Now that is done, and then we want to make sure that we get this one, because, well, I mean, in all honesty, we can pick up coal from here, but um, it needs to come in in a little bit higher quantity here. Uh, that is now getting built slowly and wasting a lot of trips back and forth, but at least we are now getting some kind of thing here. Well, look at that, 13 coal, that's, a, that's something. And 
there we go. So now we have 821. So someone can go in here and pick up the coal and send it somewhere if, as long as it's set to on here. Uh, this is just a little thing that currently is uh, broken, but uh, works now. Uh, set it to on, otherwise trucks will not come in and pick up the stuff that's in here, like the rocks, for example. We want them to make sure that they can come in uh, even, yeah, under all circumstances. There we go. We got some coal going. Great. Ah, that's good. Okay, so we got coal going. Now this is needs to just be built. It will be built slowly. This one will be built slowly. That's the only thing we have sort of on the to-do list in terms of that. So also up here, uh, we have now the next one is making the copper and also repairing the shipyards. Those are the next things. So we should do some copper design here. And I was kind of thinking, oh, let's go to planning mode and uh, about how to do this. We're just going to be making it up here. Uh, I was getting kind of an idea that you can flip and would that be possible so that it would be possible to do something like this and we can then get that outbound somehow back there. Oops. And transport there, right? Because then I could make the blast furnace. Which one do I need? I need the blast furnace, the metal caster, which will now be making impure copper and uh, i don't know if this is feasible let's try it does that like to go in here it probably won't like it if i do that no 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 they, it doesn't want to be this close to something else there so this needs to go it's a little bit of space there and you on this side and this will take 12 so we can do this one and this one there you go that should be connected yep and that goes yeah so this will be producing this one i'm not gonna even ah, do i want the other one yeah i guess so if it if it's there then it's there and we get these two here so it produced 24 plus 24 so it's 48 and this one can carry 60 Throughput 120 out of 60. Why is it 120? It doesn't matter. It uh, it works. And then we can get it outbound into some kind of box. And that will be just a storage box like this. And then we can build uh, the belts. But we... Oh, okay. Uh, we don't have the belt just yet. Uh, the belts are using mod... Uh, yeah, then they're using something we don't have, the construction parts 2, which we don't have yet. So that can't be done, but don't worry, we'll get it, we'll get it. Uh, but we might as well just kind of get ready for it. See this? I'm going to take it out. I just wanted to make sure that it could be done. There. All right, so I think this is how I want to make a coal plant. I'll just cut it and then get it a mm, little bit closer. Let's, let's be something like this. And then I will also now need another one of the ore sorting plants, which will be going. Uh, let's see how close is this. Okay, then it's fine. And this will be taking copper ore, dirt and rocks. Maybe we'll take sand as well, because there is some sand nearby that might get scooped up once in a while. Uh, but. I need to change this so you are going to be on D and you're going to be on B. Does that seem right? Yes. And then storage here and here. And the other two are just kind of irrelevant. And that will go in here and to that one. I kind of feel we might be, be a little bit too close. Oh, right. I also set it up to iron, which is definitely not what I want. There. And these ones should be iron scrap and iron ore. Or copper scrap and copper ore. There you go. Copper scrap and copper ore. There you go. So that is going to be the copper build. I don't want to build the whole thing though. Because uh, we don't need to build the whole thing. So I'm going to be just enabling some of it. There. That and that and that. So that gets built. Uh, also, obviously here and here. So that gets built, and I will then need a mine control tower. Yeah, which will then set up. Also get that done. Actually get that done faster than the other ones. 
and that will then get the area in question i'll just press l to see the actual resource overlay there we go and i'll be paving this flatly like that great so this should now get us something we get irrigated farms available all right where are we at um, all the things locally have been done do we have a stockpile of coal yes please so everything looks good all we need to do is now do some more trading oh we don't have any wood for trading oops uh all right uh i also think this one can definitely be turned down because this one should no longer be the primary way to build uh coal actually it should be the non-existent way of making coal there we go there let's uh, just pause it because it, i don't really want it Good, let's uh, get to see the copper thing get built. Ah, so the inevitable is starting to happen. Not enough maintenance. Why do we not have enough maintenance? Well, uh, this one was set to 10, which was the basic uh, priority, which meant that it would always go in somewhere else. Because right now, everything is extremely busy. We have a lot of stuff going on, and that is primarily just from uh, just taking out the junk here the junk up here this one is like lots of cues or lots of uh, actions here to to get that plus uh, trying to keep these to fed with all the stuff they need in order to make the construction parts in order to make the last bit of this so this is the one we're really just desperately wanted to get in here we have a few everything else is done except uh, well the belt can't be done because we're missing construction parts too but as you can see here it's also filling up that means we also have an opportunity to uh, build already here. We have four loads of, uh, of dirt that we can start throwing somewhere, which is a lot. So uh, maintenance is a bigger problem. Like we also want to make another one because we want uh, here. This is also the internal buffer. At least it's working. So let me uh, scale that one up a little bit so that it gets working a little bit more. And let's see, for every every time it does this, it goes up 5% here. So that's, uh, looks like we're doing okay on this. Uh, looks like we got the blast furnace done. Yes, we got the blast furnace done. And what are we missing? We're missing the copper electrolysis and connected to rainwater. Copper electrolysis there and there. Oh, I'm such an idiot uh, because this is only going to make the impure. So this one has to be uh, deleted there that was expensive and that has to go all the way out oh no all right so this one is producing 12 per minute and we forgot the last pass and that's the copper electrolysis which takes 24 can i just bump that one out there we go and copper electrolysis there so that will go seems reasonable enough uh there and Uh, let's see, we want to have one in between. There we go. And this obviously should be on a belt. It is not, but it should be. And that means we can now do the box again, which will be perfectly placed here. And that will be copper again. Good. So I'll do that one and that one. We can't do the belts yet, but almost. And what we can do though is over here. Ah, groundwater. It needs 50 of the new, but we do have a groundwater system over here. It does say that it should be set up to our rainwater collection. But yeah, we're not going to do that. We're not going to do that. We're just going to be building this thing over here in the forest. Not enough maintenance. Mm. Can I just ignore that problem and then it'll go away? It's probably not going to work very well to just ignore that. Mm. Well, this one is building. Okay. All right. Okay. So it's building and this is building. And once that's done, then we need to hook this up. I will do... Here, hook it up, but get it up to level two. Go this way. And don't know how where this needs to go. Uh maybe like this. Yeah. And there. Good. So they can go under, except for the big uh, trucks. They have to, uh, the excavators, they can't go under these. They need to go another way oh we're down to 24 there's a mild sense of panic here can i just oh right okay so maybe it's not necessarily that we lost it here because um i don't need to boost that i do however want this to be prioritized why is it not prioritized uh that's 
everything is fine here. You're missing the gears. Okay, so the gears are not coming in and that's why this is being slow. We do have that, so let's bump the gears up a little bit in priority because that's gonna be needed. We'll also need this to be prioritized. I, when we get a bus that takes all these things together, it'll be much, much nicer. Uh, but I think that I think that this is fine, right? Last month, might have my minus 17. And now, as long as it's working now, it should be getting up here. But it, like, why is it not sort of scaling up faster? 20%, down 23%. And then can it go, will it go all the way down 22% while this is building up? They, this is the part where we're actually using an ungodly amount of maintenance right now. Like the fact that we have to have keep this one of these active at all times just to keep up with the maintenance, which means that need to get trucks to transport all these things. Ah, this is one of those things where uh, maintenance is not like, like really my favorite thing here. I feel that it's uh, it's a little bit extreme how much we, uh, effort we have to put in. So this was taking six per. 60 seconds and this one was outputting six and uh, it outputs 12 that means it should be able to keep up with those two this one's outputting four and i need three so this one is also not really enough but anyway what uh, we can see is this should be getting there and once it's there then we can build the whole line out here that one uh, can also be done and are you done now yes you're done and that should get us the last one connected to rainwater reservoir. Yes, indeed. So now we should be able to make copper. These will build and then they'll of course have to be transported manually because we don't have the trucks yet uh, or the, the transport belts yet. Copper production is finally working, although it is a little bit manual uh, back and forth. We get the ingredients for cement, which will definitely be something we want to do uh, next time. Well, but not uh, not not this time. There will be not be enough time for it. But we have now a decent copper supply. That is great. I can't make this because I'm missing the yellow uh, yellow in uh, yellow construction parts. But we have that here, yellow construction parts. Funny how it's not displaying it on that location. Maybe it's because it hasn't built one yet. But that has been done. So now we're going to be bringing these parts here as soon as we get there. We go get to twenty. Then we don't have anywhere else to bring it, and that means it goes into this one let's see if that works come on no there was an unload oh but it's still no it didn't unload all right and also look at that yay we have a hundred percent on uh, on, uh, on our maintenance it took a while but and it took a lot of iron to to get there but you know we'll we'll get it let's see uh we really want oh yay it's working let's uh, upgrade this one or at least uh, speed it up um i don't know if this needs to be boosted i don't think i need to be boosted anymore because we're using too much boost as long as we have a positive that's that's fine workers 19 that's all still very good uh, we are happy with that this is working very slowly and then now comes the next part of what is it actually what is the most important thing we can do with our belts uh, this one will almost build another few belts now and I think the most important thing of the belts is actually to get this one done because then we have a direct connection. There we go. Then we get a direct connection so we don't have to bring uh, vehicles over here just to bring stuff back and forth. There we go. That one will now be auto on input, which is great. And that gets us this one. Yay. And then we, the whole thing almost. Next stuff that we would like to get, uh, uh, that would be the U shaped uh, conveyor here. No. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's just a normal belt. There. And... Can we make it? Yes. Can I make that? Yes. Great. So now the whole flow uh, of the copper build is completely automated. <clears throat> Except the oil is not... The water is not coming in. But th it will. It will. It will get in here really soon. And uh, then it should be fine right okay so that's one of the next things that i want to build but there are other things as well we want to build we're going to be focusing on belts for now here is an, an a thing if i build these i will be allocating all of this all of the construction parts directly in here if i don't have anything else and that means what will happen is that all of my white construction parts will become yellow construction parts which will fill up this one before this one ever fills up because anything that goes in here will be going into that one it consumes 12 per second and i can only produce well i can produce twice as much so that's good uh, now 
what I could do, should do, is actually make a build like this. I could build it like that. There. So what this would do is say, these are going in. That's not what I wanted. There. So they will all go in here, and then half of it will go into storage, and the other half will go in here. There we go. And I want to keep them exactly one away. I also really don't like this. I think it look it's going to look nicer if I do it in a slightly different way. Like this. So there's a little bit of a gap from they come in. Go up, there we go. And maybe like that. Yes. And then you will go in here and then later on it'll be updated. So this is making something. Then let's make sure that this gets built first. This, uh, otherwise they will get stuck in here. So now they will be going on the belt directly in here. Woohoo! A little bit of automation done. Now, that is not what I wanted here. Now we need all of this because they are going to be stuck here. And I need to feed them out here and feed you and feed. Mm. Oh, that's 10. That's expensive. And it's not really getting there because nothing comes in here. Oh, it's actually... Oops. That's slow. Let's boost that instead. We also want to upgrade them if at all possible, but that's a little bit out into the future. There, we get 22 now. Could I get that in here, please? Let's see if that where that goes. Yes, perfect. So we now have 40 plus 20, so we'll get... We'll get this one producing. And now we can get this one up and running, this uh, little spaghetti mess. And once that's done, then uh, we have this relatively automated. Relatively. Like, well, eventually we'll get all inputs and outputs, but that's definitely not today. And we have another little disaster. That's all the rubber we have. Like, that's it. So, uh, we need to build more rubber plants. And uh, that is going to be interesting. So, um, uh, these here. And then I need a rubber plant. It's, uh, there's, there's just so little margin here. Unbelievably small margin. That one and that one. There's not a lot of room here. This is good. And I will then get you in on this pipe, but get all of this up. Yes, good. And then do the same thing for here. Oh no, that doesn't work. Ooh, okay. So this has to go, all of that has to go away. And that's kind of important. We'll go over here. That one. That one. And here. Here. Right. So now we need this outbound. And I will just get it outbound here. Why am I going to take this outbound at this location? Well... I'm going to do that because I uh, I don't want to take... This part here is going to be used for fueling trucks and fueling our diesel generator. Way more important. And then if the rubber has to stand by a bit, then it has to stand by a bit. Uh, this one, I think I'll actually just kill you. Uh, this, I'd like to get... I'll, I'll kill this one and this one. Let's get some more components. And then I will get a box. Can you just remove fast that one so now we actually have an opportunity to do these kind of belts there this is also one of those cases where I could actually use the new ah I think I have to uh, what I mean is that there's the new uh, uh, there's new vertical conveyors, and that's something we want to do. Let's get that down. There. 
Right, so let's try the new conveyors, vertical conveyors. They are on the transport. Flat lift, loose lift, and loose lift. And then it has to be built here. Uh -huh. I don't think it connects. Let's do this. And then the loose lift. It's connected. Huh. Okay, so I have to click twice. There. And loose lift. That one. Are they expensive? Oh, they're expensive. Totally not worth doing, but... Uh, actually, now that I think of it... Oops. I think I actually want to build these a little bit closer. Right? Here, here, and... Why is this not working? And this one. Is it connected then? I mean, it's weird that it sort of wants to go all sides. Hmm. I guess we'll just have to find out. Like, it's it's a little bit urgent, so it just has to work. Ah. Oh, right. It's the wrong way. Rotate. There we go. Oops. Now I got it. And there we go. Now it works. Yes, please. And then the question becomes still, could this one go in here? Yes, it could. There. So shouldn't this one also be that location here? Are these connected now? I don't think they are, but they will be if I... Yeah, I need to take them out and put them back in. There and there. Right, and then I can take this one out. Good, it works, it's a thing. Let's uh, see if it actually works and then we'll get a box for the final product. That'll be, I uh, actually want it to be as short belts as possible, so <laughs> we'll do it this way. And I will only be hooking up one of them. So we make rubber here. Right, let's get this started here. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that one. And what else? This needs to be built, this needs to be built, this needs to be built. And that one needs to be built. Great. So that should be done. Let's see if we can get it done. And here we are. We built our rubber plant here and we're getting coal in. Not a lot, but a little bit of coal coming in here. That gets us the rubber which is uh, chucking along, great, and that gives us rubber here, which we they can then build, <laughs> send it over here. So now we actually have the production of rubber, uh, electronics, and because that's also kind of important for our maintenance, you know, uh, this is working uh, over here. This one is working well, but... Okay, we're starting to see an accumulation of construction parts, that's good, and also an accumulation here of these kind of construction parts. So what would be the next thing to do would be, oh, this one's already done, great. Then I think the most important thing is actually getting these ones upgraded, and that requires 15 here. So maybe this is the one we want to upgrade and get that done as fast as possible. Ironically, they are actually gonna be sitting here inside and then just need to be, as soon as we get here, then that gets done and this one needs to do a few iterations and then it will have enough the 30 uh, the 15 electronics so what is important about this game is that there is actually a lot of waiting time when you can spend time on designing while oh this is bad again <laughs> while stressing out why why uh, why we're not getting enough well that's because of the rubber the rubber went into electronics and electronics is a necessity for our maintenance and maintenance is just not there yet so we are going to spend the first electronics here for upgrading the this part here and then we can put more in but it's just dropping really crazy there we go 
And that is it. So now, uh, while that's chucking along, and we know that that's going to be great. So now this is going to be super fast, making 24 per second, if we can only keep up with it. But that's uh, definitely going to be the intention. I am going to show you something cool as sort of the last thing is that we can now make these surfaces and they are actually pretty damn cool. So we can make brick surfaces, we can make uh, concrete surfaces. And now you realize why I've been all the way through this game. I have been uh, just build purchasing concrete, even though we don't need it for anything, but because we want to build it here. So basically it's either iron or these things, cobblestone or stone surface or no, what was this? Stone surface, stone surface, cobblestone, or concrete. They are uh, over here. So what I really want to do is kind of develop some kind of patterns or something like that. Um, they are kind of have this uh, two tiles around what each of these and the same for these builds. But should it be the same or should it be some kind of different? I think this stone, this surface looks better here for that. And that one will then be here. There. Um, I am a little bit in doubt whether I want this concrete because that's going to be our road as well. We might want to sort of take this instead. Okay, so let's actually do that. Get rid of that. Sorry. Uh, let's try some different surfaces just to see how they work. Definitely not going to be using the iron right now because we don't have enough of it. But we could do... We did the stone surface in here and then we do the other stone surface around these locations here. Let's try that. And to see how that works. There we go. And this is now built. Now we can then do some other things in terms of doing some decals and stuff like that. There's a really a ton of cool things and they can be done in different colors. I do like, maybe they do like the yellow ones more. Um, and well, there's a million things that we can do here. And I kind of, on this one, I kind of want to do something like, ooh, that's not really, I need a little bit warmer color here. It's barely visible. Yeah. And this doesn't cost anything, so you can experiment as much as you like with this. Here, and let's get the corners. That. And then these, as they are, the inbounds. There. So we can kind of see. And I think that looks pretty neat, actually. It's not much, but it's something. It's uh, it's something to make them just stand out a little bit more. I'm gonna put put a little bit of uh, of effort into see what I can do with these, just to just to see we have something. And uh, also we have marked this one as our road, so I'll try to build a little bit of concrete road here. Um, that's gonna be super expensive. This is. How much is this? This is uh, 16 by 16. I have no idea what 16 by 16 is, but it's a lot. There we go. Is that 1,000 for each? Oof, that's expensive. All right, we are somewhat stabilizing here on the maintenance and we've built some uh, template for a road. If you have better suggestions, and I'm sure you do, you are very welcome to share them in my Discord. Uh, I'd love to get some cool designs. I've also built something here. And as always, when I do stuff, it's not really great. I mean, I kind of like this where there's like a pattern of, of just don't go on this one. Don't step on this part. Uh, and sort of like a markation about don't get close to this machine. Uh, I like it. I think the the maybe the background color here is a little bit too dull. Uh, maybe this one isn't really great and I should use concrete for everything. Don't know. Let me know. Uh, maybe the cobblestone would look better here. I don't know. Um, we'll give it a shot and see if uh, if it looks better. Uh, I think that there's a little bit too little contrast here, but uh, that's that's going to be uh, fine. So as you can see, this is how it uh, it's built. It's actually pretty neat the way that it's building uh, because it, it, they can both come in and build it and leave it and all that stuff. So it's it's really neat. Uh, let's see, then we go back here and I want just, let's see, maybe I think the orange one is still the right one for this. So we'll get this part here. And there's a little every time we paint something and there and then get the corners here, here and here. It's It's pretty neat system. I think, and I think it'll help a lot in terms of getting the base to just generally all around look better. 
uh, by doing this. And if we sort of scale out and look at it, we can see this road will be very, very prominent. Oh my God, the maintenance. Ah, the maintenance. All right, <laughs> what we need is we need to craft more uh, more iron and uh, that's definitely what we, uh, what we need. Uh, so I'll be crafting a little iron lubrication up here. But aside from that, I think we'll we'll call this a day for uh, for for this one. Remember, I am streaming on uh, Twitch as well. This definitely looks better. So uh, I hope to see you on Twitch uh, or continuing here on YouTube as it continues in next weeks. Uh, as long as there is an interest, I'm going to continue to uh, play this game. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Until then, take care, and as always, stay effective. <laughs>